Future Millionaire. It's 9.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wanted to go over a couple that we don't often tap into on my show, even though, as I told you, when the ISO flip becomes closer, we're going to start talking about our ISO queens more. We're having a slight run-up like we've been talking about. This little push-up after that correction yesterday. Now, I talked this morning about how Ethereum Classic and Ethereum and how it looked like some of these were going to start running up. And XRP could possibly push its way up here to at least the 200 day. But I was basing that purely on what I was seeing in some of the other ones running up. Um, so what I want to look at real quick is Algo. Let's let this load. Unless I deleted everything off of Algo. Maybe I did. Maybe I started over. Let me see. Well, that's Iota. No, I was going to say I didn't think so. So Algo, we're in a descending triangle. And we've played it beautifully so far. It's come down pretty nicely. Um, it may not be 100% depending on what time frame you're looking at. But I might have, I believe I did this around the daily. This got pulled out a little bit, so I'll just fix that. Okay, so that's essentially what we're in. And then we've got this uptrending... Uh, Support that we've created on this little move up. It's nothing like holy crap. It's a life-changing moment But as long as we hold that uptrend, you know, but all that's doing is coming from the bottom of support to the upper resistance And now we could get a back test up here at 34 35 cents if the rest of the market would cooperate But the moment you break this uptrend, this is kind of like your pivot level You need to hold this uptrend. Otherwise, you'll just come right back down to the bottom of the formation so pay attention to that with algo and we have a very strong uptrending resistance line that used to be a support line so in order for us to actually get back to the bullish side on algo we have some work to do and get we got to get back to 55 cents which would be an incredible move but the fed meeting they're going to start talking today ends tomorrow and we're going to know the height the rate hikes and everything else so this looks like a short-term reversal but like I said yesterday, can we get past the 200 day on any of these? I think we're going to run up to the 200 day in the 30 minute time frame. And that's what we're going to have to hunt for. So with Algo, if that's the case, the 200 day, you're looking for 32.16 area. And then we'll see how it reacts there. A lot of the market's probably going to do similar things. We've got IOTA. That looks to be seeking the 200 day at minimum, which is at 28.41. I, what, I don't know what happened to my IOTA stuff, unless it's taking forever to load up. So I'm just going to do the immediate trend on IOTA so we can all see it. But I still feel like they're hunting, like I was saying yesterday, the 200 day seems to be what they're seeking out here. And that downtrending resistance in the 30 minute time frame is perfectly on the 200 day. So it almost seems like we're getting some confluency here on some of these. And then just like I showed you with Algo. Whoops. What is going on here? Why does it keep? There's your nice uptrending support. You hold that uptrend, you can continue into oblivion. But unfortunately, I don't know if it's going to be able to break past the 200 day. That could be the overwhelming key factor that's going to kick us down. Now... If we get on top of the 200 day and hold that as support, that would be essentially breaking out of this ascending triangle and then holding this and bouncing out. And that could be indicative of a Fed rate hike of only 75 basis points. So a lot of people always ask me about Algo and IOTA, and I also want to show you Theta. Algo, IOTA, Theta. And then I think I'll end with Quant. So again, Theta is doing almost the exact same thing as the rest of the other patterns. They just bounce, it just bounced back up. Look at Theta. So this is not where I want it though, because this got moved down. I can already tell. Because I want to make sure that we're not because we did come up to a high point right here. So this is our initial high point. Even if we went like this, we could have it something like that. We could have it a little bit lower, but the point here is that this is a bear flag. And I would actually be more comfortable coming from up here to represent the pattern a little bit better.
So we've got this bare flag right here. So is this an M-top and reverse? Or are we gonna come back through the 20? And if we do, are we gonna get rejected at $1.24? Can we come up to the pattern formation of $1.315 roughly? Actually, it's a little bit lower than that. Oh yeah, that looks a lot, I like that a lot better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So if we can get past $1.25, Maybe we can push up to the pattern formation of a dollar thirty. That would be the downtrending resistance, and we have slightly uptrending support. So that's what I'm looking at with theta. And then the immediate short term, everybody's always like, "Well, where's where's the uptrend in the immediate short term?" Well, here's the uptrend that you could theoretically ride to oblivion if it just stays on the uptrend. But that would also mean you're gonna have to have a breakout, hold that as support, and a breakout would simply look something. Even if it came down here, you know, it's just gotta hold this area at some point and bounce out. So it's gotta be up here. The question is, is does it get rejected, come down, then come up? Or get rejected, bounce up, come down, and then it's over. You know, there's many ways this can go. So we follow the pattern formation. Everybody's always like, Ooh, you know, it's 50 50. No, it's a lot more than 50 50, but it is a bear flag. And if the bear flag continues riding the bear flag and doesn't have a breakout, you know, it's gonna come down and have the exact move of the bear flag. So at least on Theta, you know, you're looking at it like, oh boy, oh shit, if you break down. Let's just say it did come over here and it played the pattern beautifully until the end of September. Do you see the technical target would be 11 cents for Theta? Now we would hope to God that the rejection would come somewhere like that and then the overwhelming move would be like 39 cents. But if it doesn't do it there and the bear flag plays all the way out you know you get theta way down here at seven cents so those would be doomsday numbers hit that motherfucking like button